hello everyone uh, i'm putting a very special video for the world cup uh, something totally unexpected but i have to put it because it's the most strange thing i've ever seen in cricket in my life and i've obviously watched a lot of cricket and i'm sure no one has watched this uh, first time it's happening in international cricket i mean cricket uh, first international match was played in 1887 one four to six years of cricket and has never happened in international cricket. I mean, and I'm not surprised that Bangladesh are the ones who uh, did that uh, because of all the teams in international cricket. If anyone had to do it, Bangladesh would be the team that does that. I mean, I don't think any team plays with the less spirit of the in the less spirit of the game, uh, totally against the spirit of the game, and totally embarrassing and shameful. Uh, Angelo Matthews was given out uh, timed out in today's cricket uh, match. I was actually just coming down to watch the match and my mother was telling me that something like this happened and I thought she was uh, she got it wrong and I was like, maybe it's a DRS and she kept on telling me that, no, he didn't face a ball and I said, that cannot happen. And I didn't know about it. Obviously, I mean, I have heard about this rule sometime in my life and uh, so I can't say that I never knew about this rule, but it's not something that was in my head because you don't uh, expect that kind of thing to happen when you play cricket. You don't, I mean, not me, definitely. Not going to do that to your opposition and you don't expect the opposition to do that to you. I mean, Angelo Matthews came to bat uh, when the fourth wicket fell and he came in and he was about to take strike and then he uh, saw that his helmet, uh, the clip of the helmet was not right and he wanted to change the helmet. And in that time, it took more than two minutes. And Shakibul has said, I mean, one of the worst uh, captains I've seen uh, from a uh, behavior-wise, character-wise. Uh, I mean, as a player, he's a very good all-rounder. He bats well, bowls well. But I've seen Shakibul has been trying to call off the team uh, because of some incident that happened in the match. I mean, that uh, that's uh, I've seen, and I've seen a plenty of times Shakibul has said how he. Uh, conducts himself on the field, so I've, I've got <laughs> no respect for Shakibul Hassan in that regard. So I'm not, I'm not at all surprised that of all the captains in the world, he is the one who does that. And they appeal for it, uh, for that, and Angelo Matthews was given out by the umpire, timed out. And I don't blame the umpires because within the loss of the game, it says that after a wicket falls, and a, a batsman has to take strike in two minutes' time. And that didn't happen today. Obviously, uh, Angelo Matthews, being a professional, he should have known the loss maybe. But I'm sure there's a lot of international players who probably don't even know this rule. But Angelo Matthews probably should have just uh, checked his helmet before he came. But he was in his right to call for the helmet because obviously there was something wrong with his helmet. And he even in his wildest dreams, he wouldn't have expected uh, uh, Bangladesh to go for the appeal. And it's so crazy because even after the umpire gave it out, he could have still withdrawn his appeal. Uh, I've seen Hansi Kronia uh, withdraw appeals a few times in my life and even when the uh, fielders collided. And there's something that happened to me when I played. I've, I never thought that I was going to mention this on video, but uh, I've mentioned a few times that I've played with a Pakistani team in South Africa. And one day we were playing against a white team and it happened so that the uh, two uh, batsmen collided and they fell on the ground. And there was a run out chance, obviously. And it was a young player in our team. He was going to, he was a bowler and he was going to get uh, the run out. And I called him and I said, uh, uh, I'm not going to give his name on the video, but I said, uh, don't do that. And he stopped, obviously, he listened to me and he didn't do that. And suddenly the captain of the team called him and he said uh, to get him run out. And he, he got him run out and I was very upset about it. And the captain of the team uh, asked me in front of everyone, uh, are you here to play cricket? And I replied instantly, is this how you play cricket? And after that match, I mean, and I went to the boundary and I apologized to the whole team. And it was a youngster who I knew well from the school who was uh, who got out as well. So I uh, apologized to all of them. And obviously they know how I play my cricket. So they said, you don't have to apologize. And I said, I'm never going to play another match with the team anymore. And that's how I stopped playing with the Pakistani team. And even happened once in action cricket, uh, once uh, we were playing a very close match. And I got a, a catch of the net. I mean, in action cricket, every uh, dismissal means minus five runs. And that's why I allowed fielding at action cricket, because you could make a difference as a fielder on, in the action cricket. And I took a catch and I was 99% sure that it was out. And the umpire gave it out. I remember one of the best players in, uh, in Alfred. Uh, he's the one who was umpire that day. And he gave it out. 
and i went to him and i said i'm not uh, 100% sure that it was out and he said no shane it was a catch and even the opposite uh, opposition players told me shane that's out but i said i'm 99% sure that it's not an, it's 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 out but there's like a 1% doubt that i have that it might have touched the ground and i said i'm the last person who wants to uh, get that out and i asked the umpire to turn the decision back and it was such a close match we won in the last over of the match and minus five makes a big difference and the umpire he first he didn't want to change it but i forced him uh, to change it and he gave the minus five back to the run so actually it was like seven runs uh, difference that was in the game instead of minus five it became a plus two so it was a seven run difference but thankfully in the next over i mean there was a seven that was supposed to be hit and i dived and thankfully i stopped it and it was only one run and we eventually won the uh, match by just two runs i think and that was such a close match. But what I'm saying is that, I mean, no matter how you play, I mean, I'm someone who always wants to win every match that I play. I play very aggressive too. Aggressive, I don't mean that I talk to the batsman or chirp at him, but I play, I've always played it within the rules of the game, not just within the rules, within the spirit of the game. So anyway, I was just giving a couple of examples uh, that happened in my life. Uh, anyway, Bangladesh, absolutely a disgraceful uh, thing that they did. And if they were so desperate to get such a wicket, they probably should have tried, I'm being sarcastic, they should have tried bowling from behind the batsman or from the wicket keeper so that the bowler doesn't even know that there's a ball coming. I mean, sorry, I'm being sarcastic, but really pathetic cricket from Bangladesh. Uh, but at least, uh, thankfully, Azalanga and uh, Dhananjay De Silva had a very good partnership after that. Probably that incident uh g them up and uh good partnership and uh they've got around 280 something and i'm sure sri lanka will win today they have to win today uh it's a terrible thing that happened and i even remember once there was a south africa west indies match in 99 that's a test series where south africa won 5-0 and in the one days i think it was 6-1 to south africa or 5-2 not really sure now but there was a ball that daryl cullinan stopped with his hand when he was batting and there was no way it was going to hit the stumps it was uh, the crease and but suddenly after he caught the ball he was like i shouldn't have done that and west indians i never expected that they would do that and they appealed for the ball uh, for that and uh, daryl cullinan was given handle the ball and south africans were really angry that day i remember steve alworthy was in the team uh, and uh, i remember him bowling because he broke uh, he he hit someone's ear uh, when he bowled and there was a lot of blood as well and I've got no problems with that because West Indies, South Africa were really angry with West Indies and there were a lot of bouncers bowl and West Indies really understood what was happening and uh, there was a lot of uh, blows on the body for West Indies and South Africa uh, did well, did the right thing. I, I think I would have done that if I was a bowler, if someone something like that happened to my batsman in the team. So anyway, I was just talking about some disgraceful events that have happened in cricket, but none bigger than today. I mean, Angelo Matthews given timed out for the first time in international cricket. Shakib ul Hassan, the captain of Bangladesh, appealing for it and horrible moment in cricket. Anyway, I hope the youngsters don't uh, watch this and uh, uh, follow it. Obviously, they are not going to. And that's one of the reasons why I put the video as well. Anyway, uh, that's it from me. Special video on this incident. Uh, take care. God bless you.